Hi, I'm Trey Thomas, and welcome to our liquid stainless steel demonstration video. Our scientists have created a unique micrometal technology which combines microscopic pieces of stainless steel with an automotive grade polymer which allows stainless steel to flow. You see, it's not like stainless steel, it is stainless steel. It's made with 100% stainless steel and it's water based, so it's safe to use and easy to clean up. And it's an automotive grade coating, so it's durable and long lasting and it won't fingerprint and your refrigerator magnets will stick. Thomas's liquid stainless steel has been used successfully on kitchen appliances, cabinets, tables, bar stools, faucets, light fixtures, toasters, microwaves, and even waste bins. Now watch as we demonstrate how easy it is to use Thomas's liquid stainless steel. Everything you need to complete your stainless steel project is included in our project kits. Our lint-free roller and microphone brushes are critical to achieve the perfect brush stainless steel finish. Now how do you get ready? You do not need to prime your appliance. First, clean. Next, detach removable handles. When removing your handles, be sure to locate the hidden screw. Here, then you'll have a screw on the bottom, and your bottom handle, screws will be on top, remove your panel, and you'll have the hidden screw below. Then, tape off areas you don't want coated. We recommend priming appliance parts that are plastic. We recommend one coat of Zinsser's Bullseye 123 water-based primer. And an easy way to tell whether or not it's plastic is to use a magnet. If it doesn't stick, then you know you have a plastic piece. It's very important that you brush the primer using long one-way strokes in the same direction you will be applying the stainless steel. If you have chrome accent trim, it's okay to paint the chrome with the stainless steel as well. Now you're ready to start. For easy cleanup, line your roller tray with aluminum foil. Open your can of liquid stainless steel and stir well. Next, fully saturate your roller and all brushes before painting. On a refrigerator, first coat the edges. Be sure to keep your doors cracked for the entire painting process and an additional two hours after the final coat is applied. Now, it's okay to coat the side of the refrigerator door's rubber seal, but don't coat the seal's rubber face. First, coat the top of the refrigerator, then the sides, and then the front. Roll on the Thomas's liquid stainless steel one section at a time. Now with your 11 inch microphone brush, start at the bottom and in one long slow stroke go to the top. Continue across the section using overlapping long one way strokes in the same direction. Be sure to press firm enough to remove the textured look left by the roll. Now repeat on all sides. For refrigerators, brush from bottom to top on your first coat. For range and dishwashers, brush from left to right on your first coat. On small areas, skip the roller and use the small foam brushes. This is what it will look like after one coat. It will be thin in the areas where you started your back brush. That's okay. It will be covered up with the second coat. Prior to the second coat of stainless steel, Check the surface very carefully for any imperfections such as dirt, grit, or runs. It is much better to brush out the runs prior to them drying. Use your sanding pad to smooth out the imperfection. Wait one hour and then apply your second coat of liquid stainless steel. On your second coat of stainless steel, be sure to brush in the opposite direction as the first coat. This should provide excellent coverage in just two coats with a beautiful satin stainless brushed finish. It is very important to apply the clear top coat over the stainless steel. Not only does it provide the beautiful shine, but it also provides protection and prevents fingerprint. Let the stainless steel cure for two hours. Roll the clear top coat on one section at a time, then brush over while wet. Be sure to apply the clear top coat in the same direction 
as the stainless steel. One coat of high gloss clear top coat will provide a beautiful satin finish. A second clear coat will provide a gloss finish. Be very careful when removing the masking tape. Use a sharp knife and score the edge as you gently peel back the tape. We've also included static cling see-through film to enhance the appearance of your control pads on your appliances. Simply measure, cut, and apply. After finishing your project, please wait 24 hours before using your dishwasher or range. Wait 14 days before applying magnets to your liquid stainless finish. You now have an automotive grade liquid stainless steel finish. So think of it like your car. How would you clean your car? You would use mild soap, water, and a soft cloth. That's the same way you clean your liquid stainless steel finish. Now that you've seen how easy it is to use Thomas's liquid stainless steel, I look forward to seeing your stainless steel transformation.